Thanks for tuning into Crafty Nanny, original stories of simple crafts designed to engage you and your little one. Go on a journey with new friends and bring home souvenirs by completing the crafts when the story ends. If you haven't already subscribed, take a moment to do so and get a new story delivered to you each week. Okay, let's turn the page to begin today's adventure. Today's story is Patch, Hedgy and Scoot Welcome Spring by Anushka R. Merrill. Springtime had come to the pot of the woods where Patch, Hedgy and Scoot lived. Had it been a normal year, the three explorers would have been outside, foraging for mushrooms in the stump woods, feasting on freshly picked berries, or harvesting honey from slender tree grove. This year, however, it was different. This year, they had to stay indoors where it was safe. Ah, frog spots, said Patch. This virus is ruining everything, he exclaimed, as he, Hedgy and Scoot, looked out one of the windows. Mind your language, Patch, said their mom, who heard him from her office. Sorry, mom. It's just that I wish we were out in the field now. Such a beautiful day and we can't enjoy it. There will be plenty of time for that in the summer, Patch, replied their mom. Besides, these areas are off limits for now, and I won't be responsible if Officer Badger catches any one of you out there. Patch nodded, still displeased with the current situation. Mom came out and saw their glum little faces. I have an idea, she said. Since we can't go outside and enjoy the springtime, why don't we bring some elements of spring indoors? How do we do that? asked Hedgy. Well, replied Mom, think of some of the things you like about spring, and then you can make a surprise project to show us. Got it? They all nodded their heads. I know just the place to look for supplies. The recycling bin, said Patch and Scoot, as they raced to pick out their materials. Hedgy absolutely loved picking and eating berries, so she attempted to make a berry garland using ribbon, an empty box, paint, and some tape. Scoot was an avid bird watcher and enjoyed seeing baby birds hatch from colorful eggs. He decided to weave a nest and make some eggs using an empty box and recycled paper. Patch enjoyed drawing the different mushrooms that popped up in the meadow as soon as the weather got warmer. He made a mushroom coin bank using an empty yogurt container and crumpled up magazine sheet. Mom wanted to make something special too, so she made a wreath and decorated it with her favorite things about spring, flowers. She used popsicle sticks, paper towel rolls, scrap paper, and some twigs for her craft. Afterwards, they took five minutes to hide their creations and made up rhyming clues as to where they hid them. Patch went first, he said. I hid it where you'd keep an elf. If you have lots of books, you need a shelf, said Scoot. And he was right, so it was his turn to give a clue. If you look from me, you can see below, I'm made of glass hung high or low. Open me up and let the breeze blow. Window, yelled Hedgy, and so it was her turn to give a clue. I keep you warm on winter days. We burn wood logs in the fireplace, they yelled. With all the clues solved, they sped through the house searching for the hidden items, shouting with excitement each time one was found. That was fun, Mom, they said, settling down after their hunt. Don't get too comfy. We still have one more item to find, Mom said. Here's the clue. I know quarantine can be a bore, but I left a message of cheer on our front door, they all yelled and went to check. Patch, Hedgy, and Scoot saw the beautiful wreath their mom made, and it certainly cheered them up. They were in good spirits for the rest of the afternoon. The End Now, you can give it a try. 
Make some of the items Patch, Hedgie, and Scoot made, or make some of your springtime favorites. Remember to post your creations to Instagram at IGCraftyNanny. See you next time!